Welcome, welcome to another EBX discussion. And I know you're doing great because you alive and breathing and you back to fight another day. And let's get to the honors, to my ancestors that got all of us to where we are, those that fought to get us to that mental state that a lot of us are in right now. And I, I give honor to your family and my family. And may our families prosper and everything we touch turn to gold. And I always honor thy mother and I honor thy father. Honor thy family. I honor thy brother and I honor thy sister. And may anyone that you held dear in your family, if they transition, may they rest in peace and in power, as well as my family. And and I, like I say, salute to my soldiers and soldierettes that's doing what they have to do to maintain their mental. Because that's, that's the new strength today. You better have your mental together. Because if, if, you don't, if you don't shape your mental, this outside will love to shape it for you. So let's stay strong. And you know, let, let's, let's keep that foundation within strong. And let nothing stop us. And I just want to get right on into it. Rest in peace and in power to our rappers. Those that transitioned recently and in the past. And I, I, you know, every time I see a brother or a sister, and this could be male or female that has transitioned too, by the way, rest in peace and in power. And I know some artists, some rappers, you know, you see some in the media have done different things in their lives. But I want to take us back to when some of these artists, you know, because I love hip hop. I'm a hip hop head. Now, I don't know everything there is about hip hop. So everything that you will hear come out of my mouth right now is straight from passion and just the love of the art. Now, I want to take us back. So when these artists, whether they transitioned or just be, be good or just beginning in making their music and pursuing their careers or craft, let's go back to when they first started. Now I don't, I don't think when we all when we set out to do music and to try to pursue to get the world to hear it, and now with that first moment that we spit that lyric on that mic or that first moment we step into that studio. I think most of us at the pit of our conscience is to make music and just let people hear our gifts. But unfortunately, the downfall is some of us, some individuals get derailed down the road and make wrong decisions and get led into things when you're not intact with that mental, with that psyche. It's very important. And, you know, protect our psyche at all costs, whatever it takes. Because our mind is all we got. And that's why I say rest in peace and in power to our rappers. Because I know a lot of them, the choices that, you know, they made or, you know, they met their demise and things they ended up doing. I don't think subconsciously is what they wanted. I just think it's the way things ended up. And sometimes life just suck. You know what I'm saying? It just fucking sucks. So, you know... And like, again, you know, I, I know some individuals be toxic and doing wrong things and not checking their behavior and not listening to their spirit. But, you know, I always think of myself and the wrong choices I made and stupid shit I did, and, you know, in near death situations. And I just always kind of do a little reflection and a little assessment of myself, you know, before I really kind of judge another individual you know because i'm not god none of us are i'm not nobody's judge we are just supposed to assess one another but we some things do have to be discussed you know wool the wool does have to be pulled off some people's eyes because we are connected to people and you know and it, it is a beautiful thing when everybody is vibing on the same page and has a little knowledge and can agree to disagree it's a beautiful thing but, you know, things like this is not easy to come by, you know. And that's why I say love harder. I don't care what it takes. Love harder, my brothers and sisters, wherever we are in our lives. I don't care if we're in a small space, 
big space. That higher power always listens when nothing or nobody else will. The higher power watches over all. You already know the universe, great creator, mother, mother nature. Nothing is bigger or better than that. At the end of the day, that's who has the say overall. I don't give a damn how wealthy you are, how famous you is, or how much money you got, or how much knowledge you have. We all shall bow down to that higher power when it comes down to it. So that's why I give all praises to that universe, that greater creator and mother nature with, with all my might and all fiber of my body because none of us that are here wouldn't be here because we had a lot of us have been through some man some crazy shit you know but just keep ourselves in a positive space and just like i said a few minutes ago just keep that in our minds that these artists male or female brother or sister some that may have passed and got derailed and made wrong decisions and didn't think before they react and all these things but just like I said go back to when they first began their craft when they first began I'm sure that the way they ended up was not the way they planned and that's all I'm saying just my brothers and sisters you know we can discuss things but you know just like I said just think of that you know and just 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 let let's make this let their soul rest in peace and in power and let that greater power force you know do what he has to do with them and it's not beat up on them too much but again i'm not saying i'm not condoning some of the things that some artists may have done you know to meet their demise because you know it goes right back to that law of attraction and what what is it what, what is that law of attraction i want somebody to put it in the comments I'm not even going to say what the answer is. I want somebody to put it in the comments. What is the principles and the tools and the the comebacks and the fallbacks of law of attraction? What is law of attraction to you? I want somebody to put that in the comment, whoever listening. What does law of attraction mean to you? And let me know in the comments. And then I'll come back and, you know, give my little answer and what we think and we vibe. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, that's why I always say, you know, rest in peace and empower to ones that passed in my family and others' family because that's good energy. You know, we are not in each other's lives. We don't know what's going on in each other's lives. That's why we discuss things without, you know, beating up on each other too much. You know, we discuss things as brothers and sisters, you know, because I always try to focus on the great things that's out here amongst all this crazy crap because we got to stay aware too. Can't be floating on some damn cloud and think everything is okay or everything's going to go back to normal. What normal? That That's that's done and over with. We in the waking times now. Whether you want to... This, this spiritual realm is so powerful right now. You, you either you awaken or you're not. And you're going to know if you're not, trust me. So, and those that are awakened, and we know things can happen down the road. We know we are not, su we're not superheroes. We don't have superpowers. But it's one power that those that are awakened and on fire, that one power that we have. We have the brain. We're not insane. And we're not lames. And we refrain from any fucking games because that's that's one thing i love like, like i say love harder i don't care if, if somebody you know person place or thing trying to provoke you no you're gonna love harder think of the outcome play out scenarios learn from those that we see abroad that are making mistakes it's just lessons all around us and but i truly do want to send my condolences to the families of rappers that have transitions because sometimes i ain't gonna say all of us now i'm just saying uh, i'm just i'm trying to have a real intellectual discussion here that's why that's why i call it ebx discussion you know because I, I you know i'm not to know all or see y'all i'm just placing my perspectives and giving my opinion you know like we all do you know this this is what it's about having a constructive 
intellectual conversation with brother or sister, you know, teachers, leaders, because that's what we are. And but I, I truly want to send my condolences to some of the artists that may have transitioned, male or female, brother or sister, to their families and people they were connected to. Because, you know, things happen that, you know, just, uh, you know, that we don't understand sometimes. But I would just want to send that good energy out to their families if they had kids and, you know, moms and dads and grandmothers, anyone that they were connected to because they are the ones that's feeling it the most. And then, you know, they got to go in the media and see things played out over and over. And, you know, emotions, dealing with emotions and dealing with being in the spotlight and dealing with the world, it can take a toll on you. So that's why I say let's love harder, my brothers and sisters. We discuss things, but we love our brothers and sisters, e even though they made wrong choices and did things to meet their demise. I'm talking about now I want to clarify something. Now, I'm not talking about, like, if those have been raping, like, intentionally and know what they're doing and been raping and murdering, that's, I put them off in a different section, a different situation. That's, the greater higher force got to deal with that. Now, if you're a straight-up murderer and you're a raper and you've been raping people and you just, just you seen the evil, you, you see your wicked ways and you continue indulging in that, that's a whole different section. The greater higher force is going to deal with you on that. But I'm talking about those that transitioned and passed and was really had a good heart and was really was just want to work on their craft and wanted the world to hear their craft. I'm talking about those individuals and, you know, just was blinded and didn't see different things that led to their demise. So, but like, again, like I say, rest in peace and in power to our rappers that just, you know, just wanted to show the world their craft and met their demise. And I, my condolences to their families and anyone that they were connected to. And, you know, every time I see a brother or a sister die, especially those that weren't meant to leave or was took them before their time, I always say, it's another one gone. Or like of somebody, you know, selling a, you know what we say, the old saying that the thing that's flying around, selling your soul, you know, Whoo, man, I, you know, it's I, my condolences. That's all I got to say. Rest in peace and in power to those that transitioned that just wanted to, you know, share their gifts that the higher force gave them to share to the world and love harder. We going to love harder. And like I, I was getting ready to say it a minute ago, I didn't say it. Every time I see a brother or a sister pass, those that meant well, I always say, man, there goes another one real talk it's like there goes another one and like it's heartbreaking you know your empath is heartbreaking so that's why we gotta love harder as we teach and as we discuss things out here you know but let's love harder and I ain't talking about no soft love I'm talking about love where you want your, your late your, your excuse me your love overpowers hate let's make our love stronger than hate Let's overcome hate. Let's make hate dissipate and disappear. You can get rid of it and make love stronger and deflect things and stop getting caught up in trends and, and, and things that everybody doing. Let's take this to a whole nother level, brothers and sisters. We got that power. Trust me, we have that power. That higher force is just waiting on us to, to step into it. So I'll say one more time, rest in peace and in power to our artists, our rappers that meant well, that met their de their demise, or those that just got caught up, and you know, and I have my condolences to their family once again. So just keep loving harder, stay strong, stay talking with that higher power when we get to ourselves so we can stay charged up and stay powerful, because that's what it's all about. And that's my thought. That's my real thought. That's my positive thought. And I give honor to your family my family man and I salute to all the real like minded reachers and teachers out there and I thank those soldiers and soldierettes salute that come in to another EBX discussion and I give honor to my children I give honor to their mothers I honor my family and may brothers and sisters all over the world may you have peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now